Hello, my name is Akirito, and I'd like to teach you how to play Hey Soul Sister by Train. First, I'm going to sing a song, then I'm going to explain the chords later. So, here you go. Hey, 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 hey. Front all of my left side brains. I knew I wouldn't forget you, and so I let you go and blow my mind. Your sweet moonbeam, the smell of you in every single dream I dream. I knew when we collided, you're the one I have decided Who's one of my kind Hey, so sister, and the maester, maester on the radio Stereo, the way you move and that you know Hey, so sister, I don't wanna miss a single thing you do Tonight. Hey, 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 tonight. Now I'm going to explain the chords. There are basically four chords, and three of which are in the higher positions. What I mean is, um, normally I play C like this, but we are going to use C like this today. That's because you can mute the sound with the bars. You know, if you stop pressuring the fret, then the sound will stop. But if you play C like this, you cannot control the ringings. You know, it rings, so you can't just stop the sound. It's really... It's okay, but you know, if you want to play songs like, you know, really strumming, oh, you have to control the ringings. So I think it's better to use the bar chords. So it means we're going to use the higher positions. But I'm going to explain it one by one. So the first chord you need to know is F. Normally you play F like this. But it rings, so we're going to use this one instead. First, you have to bar the third fret with your point finger and with your link finger on the top three strings of the fifth fret. Yes. Yeah, it's really hard to play, so if you can't play it, you can always back to F like this. It's the same. Uh, so the next chord you need to know is C. So bar the, bar the third fret and with your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string and with your link finger on the fifth fret of the top string. So it should sound like this. This is C and you can always play C like this as well. It sounds the same but it rings. If you don't care then it's okay to play like this. So the next chord you need to know is D minor. Um, bar the 5th fret with your middle, you know, point finger and with your link finger on top string of the 7th fret. Normally you play D minor like this. So if you like it, you can play D minor like this and it, it sounds, the you know, sounds the same. So yeah, you can replace D minor here. Sorry. Or this one either way but I highly recommend you to play D minor up here because you can control the ringings so the last chord you need to know is uh, A sharp um, A sharp is like this 
bar the first fret and with your middle finger on the second fret of the third string and with your link finger on the top string of the third, third fret. Yes. This is A sharp. Okay, now you've got all the chords. Now I'm going to explain the strumming patterns. So, this, you know, I'm, as an example, I'm going to use um, C. It goes like this. So, when you strum down, you use the fingernail on the, your point finger and when you going upwards you're going to use the fingernail of your thumb so it goes like this down down up down up down down up down up You know, all the way, the songs you can play like this. That's the end of my video here today. Thank you for watching, and if you like it, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.